Okay, so we made it over to talk to Zantana at Chinatown. So, you took Giganta. The bigger oh, they Zatanna, are, I the harder you. they fall. Apparently this was just turning in that quest. Ooh, big upgrade, though. Maybe, uh... Yeah, definitely. Maybe she can work some of her magic and uh, invite Raven over. <laughs> How do you say you're hot Thank backwards? <laughs> Let's see, what do we still have? That's a really low quest. Um, well, we have a good number of alerts. Let's do the Welcome to the Watchtower quest. This is it, the Watchtower. We've retrofitted it a bit for all you new heroes. The Green Lantern John Sounds Stewart good. drew up the plans. He's an architect. Just follow your mini-map and activate the consoles. I'll tell you about the place. This will be an introduction to the Watchtower, which for all heroes in the game is a hub. This is where everything is centralized. This is also where a lot of the end game stuff happens where um, you're collecting tokens to get armor and end game cool gear and stuff like that. Um, so the idea behind this this quest is to kind of give you a tour around the watchtower because it is quite large. Um, so we're going to go console to console and it's going to tell us a little bit about the area we're in each time. So this will be a, a good introduction. I probably should have did this earlier, but uh, it's a good introduction for everybody. That totally makes sense now. The reason why it's so large and you keep getting lost all the time in here, it was just a poor design. John Stewart. Hey, John Stewart is the man. <laughs> he is the Green Lantern. None of that flipped well, out and Green killed Lantern, all my friends. Anyway. Oh, yeah, no, I don't really like him either. Hal Jordan, you know. Oh, yeah, Bleeding Hearts and Artists. It's all about Kyle Rayner. Anyone with Batman as their mentor will be spending a lot of time here in the tech wing. Batman makes sure it runs like clockwork. This is where everyone from Nightwing to Green Lantern to Steel <laughs> comes to trade tips and get gear. And you'll definitely want to check in with the factional vendors. Trust me, the right equipment can save your life. What? I think I missed a punchline. The uh, the tech wing, tech wing running like clockwork. Oh God. <laughs> the Justice League Watchtower was specially designed to help heroes meet and get the equipment they need, but it's an unwritten JLA rule that you must gain renown with factions before you can obtain their exclusive gear. Our goal is to create solidarity with the entire hero cause. Interesting that they try to justify the idea of reputation in the game. Yeah, I don't remember that in any of the comics. Nope. Nope, I think where I want to be is underneath. I could have swore it showed that exact spot. I think it's the bank. Each wing in the watchtower has its oh, own I bank. See. Wayne Enterprises, Queen Industries, and others all contribute to a fund that rewards heroic activity and provides this secure storage for your gear. Can't imagine a lot I would store in the bank. I mean, once you've used it, you've used it, but it's good to know it's there. Yeah. There we go. On to the next location. It's definitely a good uh, basic introduction. They do a good job of showing you where things are and giving you kind of an overhead view of everything so you know the idea. Otherwise, you would never know that there was a bank here, etc. Or the auction house is going to show us in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Watchtower's central hub. You can get to just about anywhere in the Watchtower from here. All three wings, the mailboxes, the monitor room, and the war room. The Watchtower itself is visible from Earth and maintains multiple security measures to keep the society and villains at bay. Which is always good, keeping everything bad at bay. Overrated. 
<laughs> Just let them come. The place is full of superheroes. What are they going to do? Exactly. I mean, if they you know come to us, that saves us the half, you know, having to you know drag them down and and all that and all that energy wasted. It's just so much easier. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. It says it's over this way. I don't think so. I think it's back this way. That is definitely one thing about the watchtower. It is very easy to get lost. Hey, look at that. Hal Jordan in front Stewart. of a... He's in front of a uh, Christmas tree. Huh. Welcome to the heart of the Watchtower. This is where the Martian Manhunter determines our global alerts from data in the Monitor Womb. The Huntress is also on hand, with investigations from the Question. Across the way, is the Hall of Heroes, where Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman coordinate the League. Only official Justice League members can enter the Hall. I wonder if there's like mm. some way you can earn entrance into the Hall of Justice, that'd be cool. I think so, actually, because I saw a port that goes to Hall of Justice. Ever wanted your own holiday special? Now's your chance, because we need your help. Larflees, the Orange Lantern of Avarice, has gotten wind of the gift-giving season and wants to take everything for himself. This guy hey, puts the Mai in Miser. He's after everything he can get his hands on. Gifts, trees, snowmen, decorations, anything. And he's not going to share. Go out into the cities and find his stashes of stolen holiday goods. Recover as much as you can before he sends it back to his planet Okara and give it to the folks who really need it. Hal knows his stuff when it comes to the emotional spectrum and the cores, so if he's concerned about Larflees, we should consider this a priority. Good luck. Puts the Mai in Miser, huh? Wow. Dude, wow. That's really bad. That, that was. Below here. Console in the war room. Here's the war room. Central hub. This is the Watchtower War Room, our state of the art training area. Talk to Beast Boy for access to the simulator where you can practice other hero and villain moves. Ambush Bug takes care of our vault drops. School lets you do the simulator thing so you can check out the other move sets. That was a good good idea. The place is definitely big. Yeah. You should totally go talk to Beast Boy. Where is the reaction co reactor core? It's the meta deck. He's been flirting with my woman. <laughs> hmm. This is the trickiest part of this quest. Figuring a way around is definitely tricky. Now this is a warp. Down here maybe? Now this is the broker room. Getting lost in the watchtower the first time is kind of a rite of passage. I think it's over here. In the meta deck? 
Yeah, it just it just gave me the uh, little update Does on the map, you know, on the mini map. Yeah, locate reactor core. Maybe it's underneath. Oh, maybe this is it. Uh, it still says it's underneath. Down here. There it is. It's down below. Go to the uh, the ground floor. Aha! Place is tricky. Yeah. Very tricksy. You're oh, now at the Watchtower so Reactor Core. <laughs> Star Labs and Firestorm rigged it to power the entire Watchtower. If you're looking to immediately take out some villains, you'll find Hawkman and Cyborg here with the latest intel. Watchtower hangar, huh? Back this way, it says. Is that where Wonder Woman does all the clothes? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. I do apologize to any of our female viewers. That was very sexist on my part. Aquaman can totally help her. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think the hangar's over here. Of course, I have no idea what I'm talking about because I get lost all the time in this place. You know, people are shouting at the screen right now. It's right over there. You <laughs> flowed by the door three times. Pretty much. Did it just tell me to go backwards? I think I was supposed to go through that door oh, on the other side. That's wonderful. That's what I get for going around. I could do this. You're only, you're only truly heroic if you can find different things in the watchtower. There we go. The Watchtower hangar holds some small portion of the Watchtower fleet. The Flash is usually here with information on various races rigged all over the world. Okay, agriculture area. I was just there. That's actually where you do respecking. That is a location that you end up a lot. <laughs> It's weird they would have Flash in the hangar. You'd think they'd have a Green Lantern down there, you know, doing parking and stuff. <laughs> doing parking? Yeah, you know, parking all the, you know, spaceships and whatnot. Always nice to pass through the aquacultural area. A little well, green spot in the midst of this gigantic satellite. This is where we keep Star Labs recalibrating attributes devices, or RADs. Want to refocus your skills to refine your edge? Take a look. And of course, what she's saying with these is these are actual respec machines. So you can actually head up, pay the little cost there, um, 500 for the current one, and then it'll app it would allow you to uh, respec all your powers. So it's not too expensive. The price does go up as you do it, but uh, if you do it more often, but it actually lets you pick your powers too. So you, it's not just your you know, your skills down on your bar there, but your attack power, so you can switch out weapon sets and things like that, because, you know, when you hit a certain level, you can choose a different oh, weapon wow. set. Yeah, it's actually a, uh, it's a very cool respec system. It works really well. That sounds like it. Sounds really cool. I played with it quite a bit on my first couple of characters, especially my bow gadget character, because that was a tricky character to learn. It's cool, but it's definitely not as uh, powerful as the fire axe guy. And there we go. That is a complete tour of the Watchtower. One more thing I want to show everybody. So this is an endgame armor set. That one in the case right there. The idea... Oh. Yeah, there's quite a few different ones depending on the mentor you chose. But um, when you get the end of the game, you do specific missions, you do specific quests to earn marks. You take those marks to buy the pieces of this armor set. So for example, I'll show you this here at the Batgirl. 
Um, it must be earned. You have to be level 30. Bring me proof that you are a champion. And then you have to have the, the different marks. You can see it's like 40, 60, 45, 50, etc., etc. There's a lot of pieces. But if you look at the stats on these, it's huge. These are really, really good armor pieces. This is endgame stuff. Plus, I mean, how cool is it to look like that? That is an awesome, awesome, awesome piece of armor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But this is what you're striving for. This is that prize at the end of the game. All these games are very gear-based. MMOs are by, like that by nature. And this game is no different. Um, that is the gear right there. So if you're a Batman fan, you're drooling over that just as much as I am. Definitely. Okie doke. Let's see. Okay, let us see what we want to do next. Thank you.